In the next few videos, we're going to go over cognitive development, focusing specifically on Piaget's stages of cognitive development. To begin, we can define cognitive development as the growth and maturation of all kinds of thinking processes. These processes can include reasoning, problem solving, perceiving, remembering, and imagining. Now, for Lamcat, you need to know the name of the most famous psychologist that studied cognitive development in children, and that is Jean Piaget. Piaget believed that children go through four stages of cognitive development. It's important to note that Piaget's theory of cognitive development is what we consider a stage theory. And that's because Piaget believed that children's development goes through stages and transitions from one stage to the next is sudden and discontinuous. This is in contrast to other theories that believe that development is steady and continuous. Now, when Piaget described his theory of cognitive development, he used a number of terms that you need to know for the exam. According to Piaget, children develop schemas to help them understand the world. By the time they reach adulthood, they have developed schemas for almost everything. You should note that these schemas are not permanent, they're not fixed. It's possible for them to be changed. So when children encounter new information, they adjust their schemas using two processes assimilation, and accommodation. So there are three terms here, schemas, assimilation, and accommodation. Let's talk about these terms a little bit more. The first term, schema, is a cognitive framework for a concept, object, or event. For example, if you ask a child, what is a boy? What is a girl? The child is going to use their schema of what a boy is or what a girl is to answer your question. Assimilation is the process of incorporating new information into existing schemas. This occurs when we encounter new information and use previously learned information to make sense of it. To better understand how this works, let's take a look at an example. A child develops a schema of a dog because his family has a dog. So this is an example of schema and how the child develops the schema. Essentially, the family has a dog, and they tell the child that this animal is a dog. So the child's schema of a dog is the family's dog. So next, when the child goes outside and sees other dogs in his neighborhood, he points at them and calls them dogs. This is an example of assimilation. In this case, the child is encountering new information, these other dogs in his neighborhood that he hasn't seen them before. When he sees this new information, he's going to start first by drawing on his pre-existing schemas and see which ones do they fit into. And what he would notice is that, oh, these other things that I'm looking at, they look similar to my schema of a dog. So therefore, I'm going to assimilate them into this schema and also call them dogs. All right, so that's assimilation. Accommodation is the process of changing pre-existing schemas to accommodate new information. This occurs when an existing schema fails and is altered to deal with new information. To continue with this example, the child then sees a fox and the child also calls the fox a dog. His parents tell him it's a fox and not a dog. The child then has to adjust his schema of dogs to not include everything that is furry and has four legs. So this example here with the fox is an example of accommodation. So again, when the child encounters new information, which is this fox, which is another animal that the child has never seen before, the child at first tries to use a pre-existing schema to say what the fox is. The child thinks that it's a dog. However, the parents tell the child that he is wrong. So in this case, the child's schema has failed. And now the child has to alter his schema of a dog in order to say that not everything that is furry and has four legs is a dog. So that tells you how uh, accommodation works. And these are the key terms for Piaget, schema, assimilation, and accommodation. 
In subsequent videos, we're going to discuss more about Piaget's four stages of cognitive development.